Hi there, in this video I'm going to show you how to install Python 3 on CentOS 7 and how to set up a local programming environment on your CentOS 7 server. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to open up the terminal on CentOS 7. Okay, I have my terminal open here. So the first thing that I am going to do is I'm going to make sure my system is up to date. So to do so, I'm just going to type in sudo yum update and hit enter okay if you're prompted pop in your password okay and i'm fully up to date if you're uh, prompted to run updates be sure to run them okay so the next thing i'm going to run is i'm going to install yum going to install yum utils so we'll do that now by typing in sudo yum install yum hyphen utils and then I'll hit return. Okay, and I already actually have it installed and it says it's up to the latest version, so we're okay there. So the next thing I'm going to install then is development tools for CentOS. So I'm gonna type in sudo yum group install development. Again, I'll leave all these commands in the description so you can just copy and paste them. Okay, so we can see it's fetching a few things here. So when prompted, press Y to install. And what I'll do is I'll pause the video here while this is installing. Okay, great. That looks like it's installed for us. Okay, so now let's move on to getting Python installed on our machine. Okay, so we're going to get the inline upstream stable version. So we need to run a command which I will copy and paste in here. And I will also paste it below so you can copy it. So sudo yum minus y. So minus y is just going to, instead of us pressing yes, so it's install for us. And we're going to get uh, this URL here and we'll click return. Okay, so again, while this is doing it, I will pause the video. Okay, great, that installed without issue. Okay, so now let's install the version of Python that we want. So I'm gonna type in sudo yum install python 3.6u and I'll hit enter. Okay, if you're prompted, just hit Y to accept the installation. And again, if you're prompted to receive a key, just press Y to accept that as well. And this will continue to install here for us. Okay, great, that looks like it's installed. So let's just double check that it's installed and we'll type in Python 3.6 space hyphen capital V. Perfect, and you can see we have Python 3.6.2 installed, which is great. Okay, so now we want to install pip as well. So pip allows you to pull down certain Python packages. So I'm just going to copy and paste this in here again for us. So sudo yum minus y install python 3u hyphen pip. And I'm just going to hit return here. So this will go off and install this for us now. Okay, perfect, that's done. And the last command we need is to uh, get some development packages. So to do so, type in sudo yum install python 3.6u hyphen devil. And this should go off for us now and fetch the package and download and install it. Okay, and if you're prompted, just press Y to accept the installation, and this will go off and install it for us, which was done there now. Okay, now that we have Python installed, we're going to create a virtual environment for us to work on. Basically, the point of this is that it keeps your projects and system files completely separate, and it's good practice to do. Okay, so the first thing I'm going to do, I'm just going to see where I am here. So I'm in my home folder which is perfect so the first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to make a directory and i'm going to call it environments okay perfect and i'm just going to cd into that directory okay so now that we're in there we're going to create our 
uh, environment. So to do so, we're going to type in Python 3.6 space minus M space V E N V and we'll call it my underscore E N V and we'll hit return. Okay, so that looks to have worked. So we can just check this by running ls and we'll cd into my env and let's just run ls. Perfect, and that looks to be working and you can see we have some folders that's created here for us. So now what we need to do is we now need to activate that environment. So to do so, I'm gonna type in source. I'll just come out of this directory actually. So I'm going to type in source my env bin and activate. And you can use tab completion here to tab out. And then I'll hit return. Okay, and you can see it looks like we are now in our environment. As you can see, my env here at the start of my project. Okay, now that we've created our environment, let's create our first Python program. So I'm going to type in by, I'm going to call it hello world.py. Okay, I'm going to press I to go into insert mode and I'm going to type in print and I'm going to type in hello world. A few exclamation marks here and I'll close this off. I'm going to type escape colon wq exclamation mark. Okay, so we can see our hello world programs there. So let's now run this. So once you're in your program environment, you can actually just run it by typing Python. You don't need to type Python 3.6. I'll press tab completion here to tab out that my Python program and I'll hit return. And you can see there your Python program is printing out correctly. Um, if you have any issues, be sure to comment below. And if you like the video, be sure to subscribe. And thanks for watching.